We're continuing our series on Evernote Basics. I want to focus on things you may not be familiar with or may have forgotten. Today, we're going to look at a trick for naming your notes and developing a system for how you should title them. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. If you like this series on Evernote Basics, you will love my online course, Evernote for Beginners. Now, don't get turned off by the title if you've been using Evernote for some time. One person said it was a great review for him. Find out more about Evernote for Beginners at my website, DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Just click on Courses. So if you want to streamline the process of naming your notes in Evernote, there are a couple of automatic options. Let's take a look. We have a note that I just created, and you've noticed I've typed in my Christmas list and a bunch of items. Now, once I uh, hit the, uh, the return button or the enter button, I can continue to type. But the minute I click up to the title section, you'll notice that it automatically inputted my title, my first line of my note as the title of the note. So the automatic titling feature in Evernote can be extremely helpful. You don't have to worry about setting up uh, an extra title. However, sometimes what you type on the first line is not the title that you want to use when storing it uh, in Evernote in a notebook so that you can quickly find it again. Now, of course, you want to keep your note titles as short and simple as possible. Sometimes people make the mistake of, of having titles that are just too long. Or sometimes if you type a really long sentence as your first line, it will import this entire first sentence as your title. And that, of course, is not going to be helpful to you as you see your notes displayed in your notebooks or possibly even when you do your search. Now, uh, one thing that I would change here that probably is not important here uh, might be the date. So this might be my 2023 uh, Christmas list for day. If you've noticed, I've changed it here. It hasn't changed anything in the body of the note. It's also a good idea to not include information in the title that you can get elsewhere from the note. You basically think of this as a headline. Uh, what, is, what will make it easy for you to recall the content of the note? Another key important uh, factor in considering how you title your notes in Evernote is to use consistent titles, especially for the same kind of notes. What do I mean by that? Um, I like to have a, a note system, so things I might want to keep I will always include the date, and if it's important, uh, I will include the year. Now when I keep uh, this note uh, in a notebook, it will show up chronologically. That helps me because uh, I might want to find uh, all the notes that I you know, did in uh, 2023 in the month of December. Uh, that's an easy search term. I like to use Evernote as a repository of important information. Uh, that might include maintenance records for my cars, uh, information about insurance policies, uh, medical information, and the like. This is where consistent titles really are important. So we're going to create a little note here. Uh, we'll just put in some uh, uh, generic content. And let's say this was information uh, on a, a medical condition. Uh, that I have. Well, as you see, the minute I clear, I clicked up to the title, it grabbed the first line or part of the first line and made that the title. Uh, that would not be helpful. But what might be helpful if uh, I started the note by saying Dave's Medical, because that's the category, and then I can say 2023 as the year, and then I could say this is, uh, you know, information about, uh, you know, a, a topic uh, that uh, we all have to deal with sooner or later in our lives. Now, when I store this information in a archive folder that I have set up in Evernote, it will display this way. Right under it will include Dave's Medical 2022 um, related to foot surgery, uh, and then something else in 2022. And this will all be chronological 
in a, a folder that I keep in archives related to my uh, medical history. In a work situation, you might have a particular project. Uh, you would then uh, want to maybe have a new move your note to a folder for that project. So let's say we would want to move it to our budget folder. Well, you'd want to make sure that you move it to the correct uh, notebook so you can find it again. Uh, but uh, you'll want to title it correctly. So this might be Budget Requests 2023. Now, when it's filed in the budget folder, I'll be able to quickly find this under budget requests, and it might be for 2022, 2021, 2024. It'll all be in chronological order. The simpler the better, but come up with a system that will make it easy to find your notes again. Now remember, even if your title system lets you down, the search feature in Evernote remains a powerful tool that will allow you to find notes by title or by content.